So when I was learning, what was my biggest loss? Rui asks, what was the worst loss you had when learning and how did you deal with it? So maybe not the most helpful question if you're looking for answers as to trading in the markets, but it's one of them that people ask all the time, so I thought I might as well just answer it for the Q&A. Um, so my biggest loss, and probably more importantly, how I dealt with it, um, and that, the answer to that is not very well. <laughs> uh, my biggest loss would have been back in about 2011. Now, there was a couple that year and I blew a few trading banks. That was kind of like where I was finding my feet and then struggling to maintain the consistency, but you know, I knew that I was onto something. So I can't remember exactly the time that I blew um, the biggest bank, which I think was about 1,500 quid. But I looked back through the blog and I managed to find one post, which would have been the last time where I said to myself, if I blow another bank, I'm not doing this anymore. So I'll put that link in the, in the comments below so you can check it out. But um, at the time, that was about 900 pound. I think the worst one I did was about 1500 pound. And to be honest with you, I tried to forget about them just because it doesn't help me at all to remember how much I lost. Um, but in that instance, it was a bit of a special, special, special loss because I said to myself, if I don't make a go of this after this point, when I reload my bank, then I'm just gonna knock it on the head because I can't cope with having them kind of losses. And them kind of losses nearly always come from just being in play, you know, and taking a trade in play, which I highly advise for anyone learning, well, not in the, learning, anyone at all. Even when you're full time, I mean, you certainly shouldn't be doing it when you're full time. You should, if you're profitable, you won't be doing it anyway. But when you're learning, it's something you really want to avoid because it will completely screw you over again and again. Um, and that is going in play, and I'm talking about going in play when you don't plan to. It's different like pl placing a, a back to lay trade that you've already planned and you really expect this horse to go in the lead and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna, you worked out how you're going to manage your position once the race starts, etc, etc. That's very different. I'm talking about going, into, going in play to recuperate a loss that you didn't mean to have and you've got no real reason for going in play because over the long term that makes you a longer term loser every time. So deviated a little bit there, but my worst loss come from going in play, um, and you'll see in the blog post if you read it, I lost about 900 quid, it was demoralising for me at the time, and looking back on it now, it makes me laugh because my behaviour around that point in time was just ridiculous, you know, I was kind of bouncing around in a rush all the time, doing all the things that I advise people not to do right now, like rushing in from work to catch the last few races and trying to squeeze as much as you can out of it and having an expectation for that race, I was doing all them things which are not good. But um, that's probably the biggest loss that I remember, and I remember, you know, and I, and I really took on board and said that this is it now, you know. How I dealt with that was not very well, to be honest with you. I didn't, I wasn't happy at the time. It stuck with me for a couple of days. It really got to me, and I did have a little bit of extra time off of trading for a couple of days after that, I believe. And that is probably how I would say you should deal with it if you're experiencing or have done that recently. But ultimately, you really want to work on not going in play and not allowing that situation to arise. Um, so on the flip side, a little bit more positive and a little bit more lighthearted. People always ask about your biggest loss and they ask about your biggest win. I don't even know what my biggest win is either. Um, I know it's bigger than this one. My most memorable win would have been one on the Cheltenham Festival several years ago. The whole nation was behind Corto Star, the price came crumbling in, it was probably the easiest trade on the planet. And afterwards I sat there and I was just like, I wish I'd used so much more. I wish I'd, you know, backed it so much harder. But I mean, that's a great thing. That sort of opportunity isn't going to arise this year at least anyway, but it was literally the case where Corto Star had won um, at Cheltenham every year for the last couple of years or whatever it was. And it was, it was highlighted in the press and, and everything. So, but I made about 450 off of that one race. So that's probably my most memorable win, um, as well as my most memorable loss, if you like, or, you know, <laughs> my biggest loss, in my, in, you know, that I took on board. But all in all, 
we're just people at the end of the day and everyone's the same, I'm the same as you, I can't deal with it any better than you can, the same as I can't get a better exit out of a trade any more than anyone else can, um, I might be better at making decisions at times, but I still have the same same stuff on offer to me as you and anyone else does. So um, as far as dealing with it goes, it's a very personal thing, but if, you, if you've got yourself on a massive loss like that or caught in play at all, Rui, I would say it's probably best to have at least have a day off.